up you guys welcome back to my channel and today we're gonna continue our setter binge and we're gonna start learning how to back set and I love volleyball like so much everything on my channel is about volleyball I've chronicled so many events about volleyball on my channel so you should subscribe right and share this with somebody who loves volleyball maybe yeah that sounds like a good idea so first if you did not watch my first video which was teaching you the keys and how to basically set watch that here I suggest you watch that because we're gonna really build off of the information that we learned from that video to learn the information for this video. So go watch that, go watch that, and then come back here. So like I said before, back sitting is one of my favorite things to do because it's just so dang cool. You have to admit, when you see somebody bust out a really great back set, you're like, oh, you fangirl or fanboy. You just you just get emotional, okay? Because back setting is just gorgeous. So today we're gonna learn how to basically back set. We're gonna learn our form, which is built off the first video, and then we're gonna learn how to execute the back set. Okay, built off the last keys, we have keys one, two, three, and four. Let's briefly talk about those keys again for a forward set. So, key one, I'm gonna put my ball down. Key one was the arm and the hands that were ball shaped. We're gonna go here, diamond, open. Key one, key two, with a little wrist action, not over correcting when you flick out, little wrist action. Not the flip of the wrist where some people do, none of that, just here. Key three was getting my arms and elbows engaged. Key four was getting my legs also engaged, okay? Remember, those keys were for somebody who's actively setting. So if the ball is above you and you're reading the ball, you're coming like, remember, you know the keys, you know the steps, Get your arms up, get ready for it to propel the ball. So using those keys, we're gonna translate that into back setting, okay? So let's do those keys again. I'm gonna put all of the keys together, okay? Now when you're back setting, the ball can come from a, a, a lot of angles. It can come from a lot of angles. And you're primarily back setting for the opposite. And the opposite position is considered right side. That's who you're primarily setting to. Or you could be setting to the middle who's running a slide, but we don't know what that is yet, so we'll get into that later. So let's say you're setting the opposite, right? So here we're gonna start with our key, and we're gonna first work on our motion of the back step. Okay? We're gonna put that as another key. So instead of opening up here, I'm opening up here. Do we see that? Opening up here. Let's see that with a real world ball example. back to your intended target. So here, when I'm setting the outside, I pushed forward with my torso and my legs. Here, I'm receiving my torso is straight up. Here, my torso is a little bit back. See that? My torso is back. Same keys, but my torso is back. And we're gonna call that key five. Key five is you're gonna extend your torso back. So I see a lot of the times, when I see a lot of beginners attempt the back set, they just assume that it's gonna be the same position. They move their arms, they move their legs, but they don't move their torso. They come here and they go, oh, the slip. They go and they do the slip. Or they come here and it goes, right behind them. And that's really hard for an opposite to come and hit. Watch me implement my torso. Now look at where I'm finishing at. Same keys. Okay, I'm not saying you have to break your back or anything, but slowly get your torso so you can get more to your intended target. So the best way to practice this, because I know a lot of you guys are practicing this on your own, is get a ball, 
Start here, setting straight up in the air. And then I want you to just practice propelling it off your torso. It doesn't have to go far. Practice propelling it off of your torso. Because we really want to get this part in to get the back set. So this is a drill that's gonna help you learn how to back set better and you can do this with a partner. Have a partner stand in the opposite position and you're gonna toss the ball off of your key too. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna look at your form, see how your form looks. That way you can better your form by looking from a different angle because you can't see behind you. Now with the back set, as well as a normal set, your body position really does matter. It matters because you cannot see behind you. Here, I can see and I can go, okay, well, she's coming in this way, or she's coming in hot. I'm gonna set it this way. Here, when they call the ball, you're gonna assume that they're there. So you really need to be in a relatively good position or angle towards the net to get them a good set. Sometimes in my vlogs, you'll see me back set from way over here and it still gets there. Sometimes you'll see me back set from off camera and it still gets there. Sometimes I'll be back row and back set and it gets there. But the common denominator in all of those is that I am still angled towards that side of the net. So even if I'm here, and I'm right now, I'm standing on the 10 foot line and the back set or the opposite area is over here. I'm still, and that was a nice set. This is me all the way back row and I'm gonna back set. Yeah. Pretty good. This is me all the way on the outside and I'm gonna make it over here. What was the common theme in that? I was still angled towards that side of the court. I implemented all of my keys and I utilized that and I didn't even have to see. I just made sure that my body position was relative to the angle of that side of the court. Now it's really important that you start practicing this skill soon. And one of the things, like I said before, is to just keep your arms up at your second key. Keep your arms up high and try to propel it back using your torso. Body position is very important with the back set. Arm position is very important with the back set. And trust in yourself. It takes time to understand the relative depth perception that it takes to back set. So you need to start practicing this as soon as possible. So what I would do is, I would go out in my driveway, in my yard, my backyard. I would grab my volleyball. If you don't have one, I have a link below on how to buy a volleyball. Get your volleyball. Work on your form. The form is so important. Work on your form. Then when you get, you're able to get to a court, work on your position, and then work on trusting yourself and getting and delivering that ball to the opposite. I hope that you like this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.